Hello, I'm Moogle FCW, and you've joined me after a musical escapade on my magical mystery of Final Fantasy IX. Where, you know, I've just like, yeah, we're doing this mini game. You put all of them on apart from the wooden one because clay is, of course, heavier. You do have to examine them first because Regent Sid is too much of a dick to tell what things are with his eyes. I mean, look at it. It's clear which one's made of wood. It looks like a turd. Who has four different coloured chess pieces? How many players do you use when playing chess, hmm? Four? What, you put them on each side of the board? This should make things interesting. You know, we've got the Persians on one side and the Spartans on the other. Now climb onto the scales. And he'll hop it up. Even though he's a pissing frog, I'm pretty sure he can manage it without using the scales. I just have to turn this upside down, Rivet. Yeah, <laughs> Uncle Sid saved the day. <laughs> My voice doesn't deserve this kind of torture. I thought I was a goner, and I thought I had a boner, but it turned out my mobile was resting on my lap. But that's a story for another night. Okay, enough of that. Uh, I, of course, didn't think I had a boner. Uh, my penis was chopped off years ago. <clears throat> but with no time to celebrate, I heard from two black mages that there's some kind of trap. What? It's a trap! It's a trap? Yeah, it's a trap! Oh, okay. You basically just have to turn them all on. Penny for every time I've had that problem. Oh, snap. Okay. We have to work together until Moogle gets back. Yeah, and then he'll assume his rightful role as the leader and king, you midgets. Okay. You know. <laughs> Why am I being accepted as the leader? I don't know anything. Oh, hello, Mojito. Uh, Que pasa? I like your name. You want me to deliver a letter to Mogsam? Mogsam can kiss my furry ass. Alright, Mogshop, awesome. Okay, but first let's shave our pro- <laughs> Let's save our progress! Let's not shave our princess. I'm pretty sure she's already pretty smooth down there. Drool. To the magical mystery talk! Yeah, I was hoping you could kind of like jump up on there and turn the scales back round. Then we could like throw this Moogle in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like my Moogle extra crispy. That would be the joke. <coughs> and we arrive in the dessert palace, land of ice cream. <laughs> uh, you see what I did there? Because desert and yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, before anyone else collapses from how incredibly unfunny that is, or noms their arm away just to distract them from horribleness before they fall into a coma, we can get on with it. First, light the candle in the centre of the room, and then extract the bloodstone. You like how I fitted in a reference to the beginning of the game there? Yeah, quite proud of myself. Now run to each end, and the demons will be like, Oh, pretty little girl, yes! And so on and so forth, and then, you know, the angel of holiness, her eyes will shine blood red. And yeah, you can just um, carry on up this stairway to heaven. You want to know why this is my least favourite location in the game? The random battles. You have to beware the random battles, because they are gay in this area. Everything, there's those things with like three blobs, but if you have damage dealers, you can just beat the crap out of everything. It's hilarious. Well, I say that, but I'm wrong, so let's get on with it. For the magical mystery tour. Uh, why can't Dagger equip knives? I mean, it sort of like ruins the point of her name. Hello, I'm Dagger, but I don't know how to wield a sword, and I'll just hit you with my blunt little staff. And oh, look, I accidentally had the healer ability on, so it looks like I'm actually helping the enemy. I'm a stupid bitch. Oh, no. Because that's what she talks like, you know. Next time we're playing the game, she's like, Oh, Dolly shouldn't be too far by airship. Yeah, next time you're that's that's the voice you're going to do it in. And that, she's Irish. Ah, oh, I'm not even going to try. We've all heard me mess up Scottish for the win. I'm not going to do it that with Ireland as well. I've destroyed too many languages. In Soviet Russia, lamp switch on you. Sounds vulgar. Lie of the Archon. 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 I'm going to say it's Archon because um, in old languages like that, they put in consonants just for shits and giggles. It's not even like they have a purpose. They're just like, ha <laughs> ha, consonant, vowel, vowel, consonant, consonant, another consonant, another consonant, vowel, no, vowel, another vowel, vowel, consonant, 
continent. And you've spelled out boobies! What's up with that? Congrats very much. Yes. Very nice there. 30 seconds on the clock. Let's go. Time's up. Uh, we'll go with Doreen first. She's in the lead. I've got a six. Yeah, Doreen's got a six. What about you, Marcus? I've got an, uh, what, an eight? An eight! An eight! Oh, very good. Well, we'll start off with your eight. It's cupboardy. Cupboardy is not a real word, Marcus. Come on, uh, it is! I heard it. What it means, cupboard-like. Oh, we'll check with the dictionary crew. Well, we have looked. There is a cupboard eye, but no cupboardy, I'm afraid. Oh, uh, you see, I always get those mixed up. Cupboardy and cupboard eye. No, uh, frequent mistake, I understand. Uh, what about your six, Doreen? It's boobies! No, I'm afraid boobies is a seven-letter word. You screwed up once again. Well, that round was a complete tie, and I've wasted around 60 seconds of my life mimicking countdown. <clears throat> and we get the shield armor. Yeah, do make sure that you're, like, extracting all these bloodstones and not just wasting time listening to me mimic old game shows. What next, eh? What next? I'll tell you what next. Well, she sneaks around the world from Kiev to Carolina. She's a sticky finger filter from Berlin down to Belize. She'll take you for a ride on a slow boat to China. Tell me where in the world is... No, tell me where in the world is common San Diego. Tell me where in the world is... Yeah, she's in Rio. Dead in the world is... Okay. Oh, well, look. The power to dodge. Yeah, if you extract these bloodstones, nothing will happen. I'm just doing it for kicks. Of course, I'm kidding. Believe me, do it. Because then the last boss is going to be... A, well, not the last boss. The next boss is going to be a lot more fun. The last boss is fun. It's so epic. It's got music playing. It's like... <laughs> that's, that's what happens. Uh, yeah, yes, right, um, okay, but that's not for now, that's one disc away, but we're almost there, remember back in those heady days when we were on disc one, no, me neither, because it was 80 pissing, pa sorry, 90 pissing parts ago, holy shit, I mean, what the hell, oh, I need cup of tea number 21, uh, what an unnecessary final boss. But that's not for here. That's for later. So let's not talk about that now. Nor should we talk about certain bosses coming up that I'm going to be raped by. In fact, no. No, I'm not. Hi, Mogsam. Once again, an incredibly lazy Moogle has, has sent me across one tiny dungeon to find you. Even though I knew I could just... Ooh. I feel like I'm going to throw up. I'll try not to do that. It doesn't help the mic. I did it once to, like, try and lube it up with vomit, and, but no, didn't actually do anything for the mic, Mike. If anything, it damaged it slightly. Okay, let's save our princess! See how I combine the two there, but it's still a complete sentence. Alright. Okay, so let's move on. Alright, first you're going to want to light both these candles in the centre of the room. See, once again, the reference. Here you drop your ticket. Yeah, thanks. And this bloodstone becomes available, yeah, but I, every time you light a candle, it, you will get this very interesting slow pan into the nothingness in the middle of the room, like that. Well done lighting the candle, now here's some gothic architecture. Oh, yes, uh. Alright, now unlight the left candle. Probably like, why, Mooka, why? I'm like, because I hate left candles. Who the hell buys those? Now head over here. Now, I'm sure you can follow my lead successfully, I doubt you'll need all these tints. Hints. Tints. Although you need all these tints. I know you want blue skin, but I'm afraid I'm not going to do it for you. You're going to have to climb up a mountain and freeze to death. Like I did up Dive Rock. Bitch slapped the annoying fan straight into oblivion. Oh, good times. Okay. Yeah, look. Gothic architecture. Thanks, really. Look, I'm a six-year-old girl, apparently. I'm not interested in gothic architecture. I'm more interested in moogles. Uh, and all things bright and beautiful. All creatures great and small. All, sm all things smited and wonderful. 
Yeah, and once again the left candle comes off and you get a stairway to heaven. <sighs> I want to be the best there ever was. Okay, I'll just save my game. S I'll just, you know, save my progress. And then we'll get in there and fight a boss. Like a boss. 